Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. How to always look elegant. I have talked before on my channel about how to always look expensive, how to always look good. I even made an updated version of how to always look good. I will keep all of these things in the cards so you can check them out. They are all still relevant points and some of them maybe sound repetitive sometimes. However, today I hope I clarify the difference and how being always elegant might be a little bit different than looking expensive and looking good. I apologize for looking a little bit tired. I just got back, just really literally got back from my flight from Istanbul. And yeah, I thought it's still very important to make this video for all of you. So let's get started. Elegance is eternal. But what is it about elegance that make us look? Elegant women not necessarily are fashion icons. They are very minimal in their choices even sometimes. However, the way they carry themselves is very special. You always feel that an elegant lady looks like a piece of art, a work of art. An elegant lady moves differently, talks differently, sits differently. Even her manners seem timeless seem from a different era but always amazes people around her. So the number one tip I would give you is to look at etiquette. Look at etiquette and take it one piece at a time. Start by dining etiquette. I have shared two videos so far, one of them about how to speak elegantly, another one is about how to have good guest etiquette. These two things are just a very small uh, part of a big, big area that I couldn't cover. But trust me, once you start adding those little teeny tiny bits of etiquette moves into your day to day basis, even at home when nobody sees you. And this is very important. Most of us try to put the best leg forward outside of our house, but give in. Think about it that way. You are the main character of your story. It's as if you are in a movie. Do you ever see a main character out of their character for a bit? No. And you have the ability and choice to choose the character for yourself today. So do that. Be that poised all the time at home, with friends, with family, with your spouse, outside, even when you join new activities. Look up etiquette in that activity. Look up that movements in that activity. How to drink tea, for example, in an afternoon tea. How to serve dinner for someone who's coming from a different country than yours. Things like that really, really make you stand out as an elegant lady. And it's not just dressing nicely, really. It's just acting the way you're supposed to be. Which brings me to the next point. An elegant lady always respects other cultures, meaning if she travels somewhere and goes to a holy mosque or a church, she covers herself up because she's elegant and she's also having in mind respect for others. And this is also a big highlight for elegance. An elegant lady is also always well prepared. When she packs, she packs the essentials but the needed. She does not pack every single shoes and bags she owns. She's always practical in an elegant manner and always well prepared. The next thing I would suggest to you if you're planning to become more elegant is to find a good hair and makeup routine. An elegant lady, as I said, has always a hair care routine. She trims her hair, regularly. And I don't mean trimming your hair like having short hair all the time, but maintaining a hairstyle. If you have layers, get them checked up. If you have your hair straight from the back, get it checked up every six months, a little bit trimming here and there to keep your hair shape intact. If you color your hair or cover your gray hair, do that more regularly. Elegant ladies take it very seriously, their nail appointments and their hair appointments. Another thing an elegant lady does is that she has always a system for taking care of her own clothes. Spot cleaning your clothes, 
washing them correctly, keeping their colors vivid, ironing them, removing any extra uh, lint hairs, removing those fuzzy um, hairs that happen to collide on top of wool items or cashmere. All of these things speak loads on you. If you do not do them, they do not show elegance. Again, the idea is not to be picture perfect. The idea is to feel always put together. Another thing about elegant ladies, elegant ladies always are dressed well according to dress code. When you are going to the opera, you have to know the opera dress code. If you're going to a football match or a concert, work event, business meeting, business dinner, a date, a trip, camping. She's always well dressed with a good dress code for the thing she's going to. She doesn't go skiing wearing her wool coat that she wears when she goes grocery shopping. She definitely does not wear heels going camping. These are the things that show elegance because elegance is not striking a pose for a picture. It's knowing the right decorum of a place and a location and an aura of the area. An elegant woman is always well-spoken. She's confident, speaks her mind first. She thinks before she speaks. Speaking elegantly video I created will help you a lot about that topic. But in general, again, an elegant lady always speaks with her mind intact. Last but not least, an elegant lady controls her emotions. This is a big one, even for me, specifically me, because I work on that every day. And this is one of the crucial things that makes a difference between an elegant and poised lady than other. Work on it, seek professional help if you need, but this is a big telltale that you are a classy lady and an elegant lady. I hope this video finds you well. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you want to see from me next. Let me know also what of these tips resented with you most. I know this video is not a styling video, but that was the purpose. It's not what you wear, it's how you carry yourself. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, like or dislike if you didn't like the video. And at the same time, turn on notification bell. I post every Sunday. Make sure to tune in and follow me on Instagram. You will learn much more about me there. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.